The liberal candidate running in the Calgary Greenway by-election, Khalil Karbani, had no problems weighing in on the Energy East pipeline with his full support to great cheers from the crowd at the all-candidates debate for the riding over the weekend. Of course, he didn't disclose that his federal counterparts haven't approved the project and bogged the regulatory process down with more red tape. I'm not going to prejudge uh, or shortcut uh, the NEB process as it goes forward. Uh, it's important that we have confidence in our regulators, it's important that they do our job, uh, and we're going to allow them to do their job without political interference. Of course, we're used to Alberta Liberals promoting pipelines and then turning around and voting Conservative motions down that would provide security to the province. But another thing that Carboni didn't disclose was that he previously ran as a Wild Rose candidate in Calgary McCall in 2011. The party became suspicious when 6,000 memberships had been sold leading up to the election in the riding. And he was disqualified when the Wild Rose party discovered that people that didn't want to join had been signed up anyways members were living at addresses that didn't exist and duplicate memberships were sold to the same person. It looks like Khalil Karbani is another opportunist that will run for any party in order to get elected, much like progressive conservative candidate Prob Gill. Karbani's unpleasant history with the Wild Rose Party isn't the only thing the Liberal candidate is keeping under wraps though. He was also the chair of events and communications with the Muslim Council of Calgary from 2013 to 15. And while he was in this position, the council posted a book entitled Answers to Non-Muslims, Common Questions About Islam, written by radical Indian hate preacher Dr. Zakir Naik, who believes that all Muslims should be terrorists, that Jews are Islam's staunchest enemy, and that child marriage is okay as long as a girl has hit puberty. Watch here. According to the Islamic Sharia, moment a lady reaches puberty and a gent reaches puberty, they can marry. In this booklet, Naik also maintains that Sharia law is preferential and that chopping off the hands of thieves is acceptable punishment. And if Karbani was director of communications, wouldn't he have been aware of this posting? And here he is with Liberal MP Darshan Kang, who spoke at a pro-Hamas rally that turned violent in Calgary in July of 2014. On top of making promises that aren't on the table and are easily broken, Karbani is a party flip-flopper and there is some blatant misconduct when it comes to his run with the Wild Rose Party. Hate preacher Naik was also banned from speaking in Canada and once pledged his allegiance to Osama bin Laden. And the organization that Karbani belonged to posted his material on their website. Clearly, there's a real issue when a candidate's most gentle failure is being disqualified from a campaign for allegedly falsifying membership lists. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.